Good morning. Uh, uh, Wall Street uh, edged a bit higher on last Friday. Uh, the Dow up uh, 95 points and Nasdaq up uh, 8 points. The Hang Seng Index uh, also have a slight rebound on last Friday uh, with the Hang Seng Index uh, up the 86 points. Uh, but um, turnover uh, uh, shrank uh, to 76 billion. And for the whole week, the Hang Seng Index has still uh, lost 2.1%. And uh, Hong Kong shares in ADL's market um, pulled back by uh, over 100 points. And um, uh, uh, on the uh, continuing uh, concern of the fund uh, outflow. And, but one uh, positive factor is the U.S. dollar uh, weakened a little bit because of the rebound of the uh, euro and uh, pound as the mainstream uh, European Union uh, parties uh, hold their grounds against the populist in uh, election for the broad uh, parliament. And um, basically, uh, lingering anxiety over the U.S.-China trade conflict will continue to uh, negatively affect the local market sentiment. And the, uh, technically, um, the Hong Kong stock market uh, remains uh, oversold. Uh, nine days and 14 days uh, RSI uh, still below uh, 30. So we expect that the um, uh, the index movement will continue to be in the range pattern and uh, pending for more direction. And then um, investors will focus on the, some of the economic data uh, to be released later this week, including the uh, uh, consumer uh, confidence index and the uh, consumer spending data uh, in the U.S. and and also the uh, China uh, latest official PMI uh, uh, data for the May uh, that will be released on Friday. And uh, regarding the recent uh, release of the weaker uh, PMI data, investor not expecting too much on. The China PMI data. So overall, the uh, market sentiment will remain uh, very cautious and, uh, and no 12 And the uh, is a, a holidays in the U.S. and U.K. Uh, tonight. So basically, uh, I think investor will continue to find some of the uh, high variation stock to short and. Uh, uh, Bargain and then uh, is still not uh, uh, favorable timing uh, for the time being. Thank you.